What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another episode of My Damn Hauls and it's episode number 55. <laughs> So on today's episode of My Name Hauls, guys, we do have this big box from my boy Rod. He is an absolute beast, an awesome subscriber, amazing follower of the channel, and uh, he has sent us fan mail multiple times on the channel. He's always providing amazing uh, packages for us here, and I just appreciate him so very much. Go follow him on Instagram, guys, at RKO1974. Again, huge shout-out to Rod. I love you so much, bro. You're an absolute baller. He has us a custom in here. It is not a custom Mattel figure. It is a custom pop. He did not tell me who it is. Um, he didn't want it to give it away, so it's gonna. I'm gonna be surprised, just like you guys, as we dive into the box here. But um, on today's episode of My Damn Halls, I don't think there's anything else I have to show you guys. If I can think of something, I'll definitely throw it in here. You know, I, I think I have a few things to run by you guys as far as opinions and things of that nature. But um, we do have an epic package right here. I don't know if he included anything else. I know there's a pop in here. I don't know if there's anything WWE figure related in here or if there's any. I don't know what's in here. So we're going to find out together, guys. But uh, Rod knows what's up. You can see right there that he wants us to insert the good old trusty knife right here. But the only way to insert the trusty knife is to open up the trusty knife. And let's insert the trusty knife where Rod tells us to. I guess we can kind of just try to get the, oh, get a little seamage right there. Oh, got it right there. So we got that, and then we're going to cut it straight across here. Just like, oh, Jesus. Just like so. Almost knocked over my whole arena. And then on the other side, we have another little cut we got to make. I apologize for the lighting. I think it's the white box that's sort of creating like a contrast or something with the, with the thing. So I'm not sure why it's giving off like that darkness to it. But uh, anyways, we got the box open. We're going to cut it open right here. Open up the little flappage. Never mind, we're just going to tear the box in half. Let me get the cut here. All right, so we got it there, and we're opening it up. I'm pretty excited, guys, because um, I don't collect pop figures. So, I mean, I, I really don't know what's going on here. Uh, we got some nice bubble wrap in here. We got some more nice bubble wrap in here. We have a mystery box there, and then I think we have a letter. Oh, snap, this is heavy. What is that? I thought I saw a letter. Did I not see a letter? Yeah, the letter's back here. Well, I, I, oh my god, I'm dropping everything. What's going on? So here's the letter. We're going to read the letter now. It says, if anyone wants to follow Brosif, here's how to find me. Twitter at Rodney underscore Olaweiler. And then we have Instagram, RKO1974. Enjoy Brosif. He signed it there. And thank you so much, bro. I'll put this letter in my fan mail section. And uh, he knows what's up with the Brosif. I call a lot of people Brosif. And uh, I'm going to open this up first. What do we got in here? Oh, Snapsies Magapsies. Is this a John Cena pendant slash... Oh my god, it is a John Cena pendant. This is freaking epic. It's from his 2014 colorway. And this is like brand new out of the packaging, guys. Look at that. Never give up with the lime green on there. That is epic sauce. He's always sending me amazing John Cena fan gear and fan mail. So thank you so much, bro. He hooked us up with stickers and cards and figures and head scans and little statues of John Cena. He knows what's up. Thank you so much, bro. This is amazing. Really, really cool uh, necklace. So we got a never give up John Cena pendant. I've never owned one besides when I was a kid. I had the U.S. Spinner one, and I think I had the miniature chain game version. But um, besides that, I don't think I've ever had a John Cena necklace. So now that we've gotten that, let's go ahead and get into this pop. I'm pretty scared. I don't know what the crap is about to happen here. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what kind of pop we're working with. But he did wrap this thing up nicely, so that is very good. Um, all right, what do we got all over here? So it is in this really cool box. It says, Appreciation Custom Funko Pop for MDT. He got the question mark there. It says, The Mystery Box. Got some quotations going around. My damn hauls on there. You guys know what's up. And then uh, we're just going to slide this open. And, oh, snap. Oh, my God. I think I know who it is. But I guess we'll only know if we take him out here. So what do we got? Taking him out. Let's find out who this is. Oh, snap, guys. That is so freaking sick. Nasty farticles. Look at that right there. It is a custom Randy Orton Funko Pop. How freaking cool is that right there? 
I want to make sure we get a good lighting on this. I don't think Randy Orton has his own pop. I don't think he's ever had one. And uh, he killed the tattoo work and everything. He's got the trunks designs on there. Uh, maybe he used a Goldberg. I'm not sure what parts he used here, but there are gloves on here. There's an elbow pad. And uh, that works for Randy Orton. That totally works for Randy Orton. This could be like his tape. Um, he does wear elbow pads a lot of the time, especially with this haircut and the dark trunks and everything. Got the blue eyes in there. Very nice, bro. Take a look at this detail here on the arm. We got a really cool beard detail going on on the back. You got Orton on his butt. You got his nice tattoo design on his back there. More skulls and stuff going down on his arms. Very cool stuff. I love this. And there's actually room on my Randy Orton shelf to add this to the shelf. So I'm totally going to put this on my Randy Orton shelf. Add it to my Randy Orton timeline there at the end. A very good work on this, bro. He's actually a really underrated customizer. He's done Matt Hardy's, Jeff Hardy's. And apparently, he does custom Funko Pops. And I'm not a big Funko Pop collector. I don't think I've... I think I've owned like one or two ever. And they were DBZ. And this is really awesome, bro. Thank you so very much for this awesome Randy Orton Funko Pop. I love this. This is great. And um, I'm going to hold on to this box because this box is damn nice. I love the My Damn Halls there. And uh, the pendant is so great. So huge shout out to Rod, guys, um, for the awesome fan mail packaging. I, I love this Randy Orton. I love all the stuff he sent us here today. And uh, definitely go give him a follow at RKO1974. And uh, I actually have a few things I want to run by you guys before we actually end the video. So let's go ahead and cut to that. All right, guys. So taking a look right here, I wanted your guys' opinion on this. We do have two Hall of Champions Batistas right here. Um, I'm working on the Batista timeline. I'm a big fan of Batista, always have been. And um, I want to make two different attires here. I have some awesome, epic freaking amazing Batista customs on the way that we're going to get into hopefully in a few days. Maybe by the weekend we'll get uh, you know some 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 figures in for that but uh, we do have two Hall of Champions Batistas right here. I want to know which attires I should do. Um, if you guys have a recommended Batista attire to do please let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I have an idea for what I want to do. I want to do Vengeance 2005 and then I want to do Great American Bash 2006. I really love both of those attires and um, I think they'd be pretty easy to do with these figures as the base. I Probably, uh, you know, I'd have to switch out the knee pads and the elbow pads, but I still love those attires, and I think they would be epic. So let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I can't wait to uh, get all those Tistas in here and get these customs completed and everything, but I wanted to run that by you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below which Batista's um, attires would you like to see um, in a Mattel figure form, you know, what, what do you, what do you want to see me do? And I'll, I'll hook it up or I'm going to do my best to, but, uh, that pretty much does it for what I wanted to run by you guys. I feel like there's something else, but I can't freaking think of it, but, uh, that pretty much does it for episode number 55 of My Damn Halls, My Damn Halls, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, again, a huge shout out to Rod for the amazing, just epic sauce, Randy Orton freaking custom Funko Pop right there. I love this to death. Um, thank you so much, Rod, again, for the epic pendant as well. I'm very excited for both of these items. Two of my favorite wrestlers of all time, John Cena being my favorite. Randy Orton, obviously, my second favorite. He knew that, and that's why he hooked us up with the pop there. But um, I would be interested in any other pops, guys, like uh, Dolph Ziggler would be really cool. Um, I don't even think they've made a John Cena. Have they made a John Cena before? So that would be cool to see as well. But uh, huge shout out to Rod. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Comment down below which custom tastes you want to see in a future video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Oh, Batista's loading Batista up. Terrible looking AF Batista bomb, but he got him loaded up and then just the Batista Batista bomb.